Welcome back to Good Day on this Thursday morning. Uh, it took me six years to warm up to this, and I'm super excited about it because the Sacramento Reptile Show is here. Gabe is here with all of our friends, including IZOD, this morning. It's an amazing event this weekend at the convention center. 100,000 square feet of space, more than 3,000 reptiles, and even more for the kids to learn from. It's here. a fantastic event, and people can come out and, and view the reptiles. They can learn about some of the animals that make good pets and some yeah. of the animals that would not be considered good pets. Exactly. Uh, and get people excited about our reptile you know, friends. That and we talked about this for, for six years, and I want to I thank you because it shows that your efforts are working. Because six years ago, I would be... Well, you've been a project. Over here. Yeah, you, yeah. Doing the snake. <laughs> now, right. I'm totally cool with it. Are you ready to hold the snake? No. Oh, the snake? Yes. I thought you were talking about this thing. Well, like, no, I'm no, not no. holding you, Izod. <laughs> we're cool, man, but I'm not holding you. No. This, oh, hey. This is Blanca. Now, how do I hold it? Just like that. You just become the tree. Oh, my goodness. So what kind of snake is this? That, that's a corn the snake. Albi oh, okay. It's an albino. Yeah. And, and this is a corn snake. This is a, a snake from the Midwest here in okay. the United States. And very beneficial because they, they're in the cornfields eating the mice and the rats yeah. and that eat our crops. Awesome. And so the beauty of this whole thing is that it also teaches kids just to not be afraid of them and how to be around them properly and that they're not necessarily pets for some people. Right. That's making good choices. And that's, yeah. that's really important. There are a lot of experts out there that can really steer people in the right way. I, I, I spend a lot of time telling people that these animals are not pets with all right. the other animals we have at our center. Right. Um, well, I, it's kind of hypocritical because I got my first pet snake when I was in second grade. Did you really? Oh, my wow. life has been a mess ever since. Uh -huh. um, but you know, you come out and you know, it's, I think it's 10 to 5 on Saturday and exactly 10 to 4 10 on, on Sunday. Okay. Yes. And, and today's the last day to buy the tickets buy the online. Tickets. Yeah, it's always um, a great two day event there, and you guys really maximize all the space there. Question from the like floor. Reptiles everywhere. Don't start any trouble, Tina. Not listening to you. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we want to get to what else do you have to show us today? Well, I can show you inside nice of his try. You want to see inside of his mouth? This is kind of cool. This is, this kind is of the a, only way I want to see inside of his mouth. Very interesting thing to look at here. Anybody if you, if yes. you take a look, no, you can see his, cool, the, oh the tongue. Very, that's a that. large yeah. attached tongue that helps to push food down his right. throat. And if you look at the back, it's closed. Right. That's, that's yeah. called a guller flap. And that, that, so that when he catches a fish, uh -huh. he's not filling his belly up with water. It, oh. It, so he can kind of sort it out. Like just a filtration system, so to speak. Exactly. Okay. Now, and you should take a chance to film. Oh, I have been. I yeah. love the way this feels on the back like here because that's, it's amazing just how hard this is. <laughs> that's called an osteoderm. But then on the side there, it's like half soft. Half and half skin. Right, when you get to the side. Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Isn't that beautiful? So weird. Well, this is the skin that got them in all that trouble. This is what people wanted for boots, the boots and yeah. belts and wallets. And Luckily, that's not kind of lost that its allure. You eyes odd. No, buddy. Not going to let that happen to you. So crazy. There right? I'm touching this. So <laughs> many amazing um, uh, things to see at the reptile show. My question Here's... was do they sell any there? Any pets there? Mm -hmm. They do. Oh. They do. Watching you. Yeah. That, it's... So buy you one, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> They, do they? Do they? they do. There, there are there are some animals for sale. There are there are some animals up for adoption for some, from rehoming. There's a conservation corner, all kinds of great um, things to check out at the show. So, in all of your years doing this, and I have to ask, it's because you're so natural around these animals. Have you ever had any close calls or situations? Uh, yeah, usually it's when I'm building a fence or something like that. Is that right? right? Oh yeah. Whenever I get hurt, I can, I got to come up with a better story. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but it's no, it's usually a pair of pliers. Oh my goodness, these are always so cool. I love the fact that you guys bring them in. And I, I actually, just grab that like yeah. nobody. Yeah, I, I don't know. What, I don't know what I'm doing, but I hope it'll work out. It's well, this new, is what it's, it's all about. Tie. You do this every once in a while. You start to get uh, a bit more acclimated around the reptiles. You're not afraid anymore, and you can learn. I think that's what it's all about for the kids yeah. to come out there and do just that. Gabe, thank you so much, Angel. Good to see you guys today. Appreciate that. All right, back to you guys. What's up? You want to be my pocket square? <laughs> hmm? It looks like you can play that string game when you go like this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So totally cool. cool. Thank you. Again, the 